Guys, we'll start this video right here. New spot, never been here before. Been here five minutes. First fish is this giant. Come on, come over here. Jeez. Look at that. Smoked it. Six cents, Quake 70. Let's get this guy back and find some more fish. All right guys, like I was saying, brand new spot. Never been here before. Five minutes in, did not have any action at all. And then, just got that one. Thank you guys for watching. It's just urban pond fishing. Let's see what else we can do. Got it. All right, so we obviously have a man-made lake. And the interesting thing about this one most of these concrete ponds, they're about one and a half, two foot deep right up the bank. And this one goes down to almost five feet. So we're throwing a lipless crankbait. Instead of burning it back, we're going to work it kind of slowly along this bank, letting it fall all the way down to the bottom and just pulling it up. There he is, guys. Good fish. Good fish. Wow. It's only the second one, but it's just, look at the shape of it. Goodness. Golly. Look at that fish, guys. It's just perfect. So perfect. We switched to a, uh, Movement L7 by six cents thinking because it, it, it's about four or five foot deep right off this bank and this lure is just hitting the rocks down there and it, it's taken us about a half hour since our last bite to get this bite but how this is going uh oh she's bleeding we'll get her back but how this is going this is crazy this shape these fish are in Really? I got one bigger than that. Really? I've only got two bites in maybe about 45 minutes, but the other one was bigger than that one. Yeah. Full that, yeah. Crankbait. Like pretty fast right along the bottom, you know? Fast. Yeah. Yeah. Made my day. All right, guys, we've been fishing here for like an hour. We had two bites so far. Really, really good fish in just perfect shape. Just keep on walking around and I come up upon this. You know, this just makes me giddy with excitement. I'm gonna try and see what we can catch from inside these culverts. Got him, guys, yes. Goodness. Nice fish. That is so cool. That might be the biggest one yet, guys. No, maybe not. Look at how gorgeous he is, though. He is so perfect. Got up here. Oh my gosh. Look at that guy. That is just nuts how perfect that fish is guys right in that tunnel not even in the tunnel we haven't even cast it in the tunnel yet right on the outside of it wow that lateral line on that fish is literally just so perfect Try 
try it again. Switch sides, we can definitely get a lot more access from this side. Got him right there, right there. He killed it right there. Dang. Oh, this bass is crazy looking. We gotta get him. This is a crazy looking fish. Look at this, guys. It's like a cow. <laughs> that is so cool. He's got him all over the place. That. That is a cool fish, guys. I am stoked about that. All those black spots on him. Had to get a picture of that dude. That is one of the coolest bass I've caught in a minute. It's crazy. Cast it all the way in there. He hit it maybe with three feet of line out. I don't know if he must, he must have followed it all the way out and then smashed it. That's cool. Got him. Yes. Another. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 oh. oh my gosh. This is insanity, guys. He's barely hooked. Got him. Wow. That was my second cast after catching the cow bass. Her first cast after catching the cow bass. Another good one out of there, guys. I've told y'all so many times. Six Sense Movement L7 is just a beast of a crankbait, guys. It's very erratic. Even when it doesn't hit timber or rocks, it acts like it does, and it just bounces all around. That guy actually hit right in the middle of the tunnel. Comment below. What was that? A cat? I slammed this in a car door so it's shot. So let's just never use this thing again. And oh my gosh, it's a cat. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, it's stuck on it. All right, guys, thank you for watching awesome day out here that was about three three and a half hours of fishing and it was not it wasn't action all the time at all like honestly the the first two fish took me pretty much almost an hour to catch but they were really good fish and those two big fish that i caught in the beginning were the only fish i got that were not around the culvert and when we got there that's when it just got insane but as you could as you could see every fish was just in fantastic shape every fish was short shaped like a football just monster monster looking fish and in my opinion those are the fish that have potential to hit double digits eventually every fish caught today was on speed demon chatterbait rod and whenever i'm fishing crankbaits i gotta have a soft tip like this rod has so when those fish hit that they just absorb that lure and then i can i can set the hook into them and get them every time i think that we caught every fish that bit today which is awesome but we got a lot of good fish we got the cow looking bass and we found the dead decomposing cat all in all an awesome day sweet urban fishing maybe i'll come back to this spot when the when the spawn is on and try and get an eight nine ten pounder thank you guys for watching